If you've ever wanted to print in color, true multicolor film and printing without diving into the custom builds or complex workflows, you're not alone. What used to be a premium or niche feature is becoming the new normal. And this printer right here is a clear sign that the entire industry is shifting. But there's one feature on this machine that really caught me off guard, and I'll show you that in just a minute. Now, heads up, this video is sponsored by Anycubic, but as always, they don't get to preview it, and they've had zero input on what I say. You're getting my honest, real-world experience, just like every video we do here on the channel. Anycubic has been around for a while, in fact, nearly a decade, and they've built a reputation for giving new makers accessible, affordable machines that just work. And if you've ever used a Photon, a Viper, or even something big like the Cobra Max, you already know what they're capable of. But this is new territory for them. This printer, the Cobra S1, and specifically the Combo, is their first enclosed Core XY machine, and more importantly, it's one of their first steps into multicolor 3D printing. And that matters because what we're watching is something big unfold right now. A couple of years ago, filament swapping color systems were rare. Today, it feels like every major brand is developing one. You're witnessing a turning point in desktop 3D printing, and this machine is a piece of that story. Let's talk about what this thing is built to do. You've got a 250 by 250 by 250 millimeter build volume inside of a rigid enclosed Core XY frame. It ships with a 0.4 millimeter nozzle, and of course it supports 0 0.2, 0 0.6, and 0.8 millimeter options. The hot end can reach 320C, and the bed maxes out at about 120C, which opens the door for filaments like ABS, ASA, PTG, and even nylons. Printing speeds are rated up to 600 millimeters per second, and while you're probably not going to be printing every part at that speed, it is fast and surprisingly quiet, coming in at around 44 decibels with the door closed, according to any cubic. It comes equipped with a very bright and easy to use 4.3 inch color adjustable touch screen, and it gets you from box to printing in about 15 minutes. But the real story here is sitting on top of the printer. Anycubic calls this multicolor device sitting on top of the machine the ACE. It's a modular color unit that can manage up to four spools, and if you stack a second one next to it, you can get eight color support. And yes, it does that familiar purge sequence that we are now used to between colors, just like you'd expect. It does feel like it purges a little bit slower than some of the other solutions out there, which can add up over time, but we haven't had any issues with colors bleeding between changes, so I guess that's a plus. But in reality, here's the thing. The purge doesn't bother me at all. Filament is part of this hobby, and if the occasional purge or prime tower makes you uncomfortable, maybe 3D printing is not your thing. It's just a part of the process. This is plastic. It's what 3D printers do. Now here's the clever part. The ACE units don't just feed filament, they dry it while they feed it. There's a second power plug. And at first I thought it was some sort of, uh, you know, terrible engineering design to have the printer with a power plug and the ACE with a power plug. But once I realized it was actually powering an active drying system during the printing, that turned out to be a pretty cool feature. If you've ever had a roll of PETG or nylon sit out in humid air for too long, you already know why this matters. Now picture this. You're printing an eight color project that could take days to complete, and each spool is actively drying while the machine swaps between them. That's a serious workflow improvement. Just one heads up, you'll need to make sure you straighten out the tip of your filament before loading. If there's any curl or kink from sitting on the spool, it might jam up the loading system. You have to make sure it's straight, and make sure you feed it directly in or it's a mess. That's not necessarily a flaw unique to the ACE system. I've seen it now on a couple of these external multi-filament systems. You just have to make sure that that filament is cut nice and clean and straight before loading it. Anycubic has a new slicer for this system called the Anycubic Slicer Next, and it's based basically on Orca Slicer, which is already very popular in the community. That means it has a clean UI, solid profile support, easy modifier tools, and a familiar workflow for anyone that's coming from Orca Slicer or even Bamboo Studio. The transition is smooth, and you don't have to relearn everything just to get good results out of the Anycubic uh, Cobra S1. But none of that matters if the hardware can't deliver. And I'll be honest, my first print didn't go as planned. Before we get into the fun stuff, I hit a huge snag. Right out of the box, I ran into a filament loading error. No matter what I did, the printer refused to recognize that filament was being inserted 
correctly. At first, I thought maybe it was something I did wrong, but after some troubleshooting, I ended up pulling the tool head apart and found the problem. There was a sensor spring inside the extruder, ever so small, that had been misassembled at the factory, and it was causing the printer to throw detection errors even when the filament was loaded correctly. Essentially, the tool head thought that there was filament where it shouldn't be. Once I fixed that, things started working wonderfully. And honestly, that kind of thing shouldn't happen, especially for new users. I want to be printing, not fixing brand new machines. That said, there is a silver lining here. It was a reminder that even as a content creator, I didn't get a cherry picked 3D printer. I had the same experience as a regular buyer might, and in a weird way, kind of glad for that. So once it was working, here's what it could do. This isn't just about color for fun, though that's a part of it. Multicolor 3D printing opens up a whole new category of projects. Logos and signs with layered color, cosplay, props and badges with detailed contrast, and of course, decorative prints that look just amazing straight off the build plate really get to highlight what these filaments can do. The ACE system handles the color changes that you paint inside the slicer, and the slicer does a great job estimating time and material usage. Print quality is sharp, and as long as you're patient with the purge sequence, the transitions are super clean. Just imagine the kind of projects that you could make without ever touching paint. We have all of these incredible filaments, and we get to use them with the ACE. Now here's the part that really gets me excited. This machine is part of a much bigger shift. A few years ago, if you wanted multicolor filament printing, you were either hacking it together with scripts, quirky gadgets, and tool changers, um, or dropping a grand on a premium setup. But now, we're seeing color systems land in the hands of everyday makers, right out of the box. And this particular printer from Anycubic, it's one of their first steps into multicolor, but it's a strong one. It shows that the barrier to entry is dropping fast. What was once a dream for hardcore hobbyists is now a reality for regular 3D printer users. Now, before you hit add to cart, let me break down who this is really for. Makers who want to print multicolor objects without breaking the bank, users looking for a fast, quiet, enclosed Core XY system, anyone who's struggling with moisture-sensitive filament, families, educators, hobbyists looking for a machine that's visually clean and intuitive or people who love Orca Slicer and want something that works out of the box. And here's who it might not be for. If you only ever print single color PLAs, this might be overkill. If you're looking for flawless plug and play perfection, there may be small setup quirks. If you're already deep in another hardware ecosystem, this may feel like a lateral move in the multicolor paradigm. If you want multi-material printing like TPU and PLA together, this system isn't really built for that. You're gonna want maybe a tool changer. My personal take, this is one of those printers that tells us where the industry is ultimately heading. Any Cubic's entry into the multicolor space feels like a signal. That age of single color desktop printers might be coming to a close soon. I had a hiccup during the setup, but once that was sorted, it's been printing great. And for $5.99, it's hard to ignore what this brings to the table. Speed, quiet, color, and a maturing user experience. Now, if this video helped you, or if you're just excited about where 3D printing is headed, especially in the multicolor world, hit that like button and subscribe, and let us know in the comments. I read them, I appreciate it. Now, what would you do with your first multicolor print on the Anycubic Cobra S1? Cosplay maybe, miniatures? I don't know, something functional? Drop it down in the comments below, I'd love to hear it. And to our YouTube members and Patreon supporters, thank you. Your support is what allows us to keep testing machines and telling stories and being honest about what works and what doesn't. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one. What a cool machine. We're just seeing so many of these multicolor systems. I think what we should do, and tell me in the comments below if you're interested, if we should just throw every single multicolor 3D printer up here on the bench in one video and maybe print the same thing and just show it. What do you think? Tell me in the comments below. All right, see you in the next one.